Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here. And continuing my series, File 13, in which I discuss cult, sleaze, exploitation, movies so bad they're good. Today I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite so bad it's good movies. Uh, it's a DVD that I recently unpackaged in my Yay It's Mail Day video, which I'll put a link to that in the description. Check that video out. But if you saw that video, you saw me beaming giddily as I unpackaged this DVD. And the movie that I'm going to talk about today is... Slugs, directed by John Picard Simone, although he's credited here as J.P. Simon because that's a far more uh, American sounding name. Uh, he also directed the File 13 classic, quite possibly the king of File 13 movies, which I've not gotten around to doing a File 13 uh, video for, but I promise you it's coming. It's in the coming. Uh, I'm talking about the movie Pieces, but today let's talk about Slugs. And Slugs, oh my god, where to even begin with Slugs? It is the story of a small town that is beset with almost a biblical plague of large, carnivorous, bloodthirsty slugs. Slugs. And that, that's all you need to know. That's the, that's the whole, that's all you need to know about this movie. There's killer slugs in this movie that are devouring people. Now these are unlike any other slugs you've ever seen in your life. These are super powerful slugs. Let me just act out a sequence in the film for you. Now keep in mind, we're talking about a slug, a slug. The, um, county, um, sanitation director if that's even a real title uh in the real world he gets called to an old woman's house who's complaining because her drain is clogged so he goes down into the sewer to investigate he has this like metal pole with him he's digging out this big pipe and all of a sudden his arm gets caught in the pipe so he pulls his arm out but his arm's pulled back in he pulls it out but it's pulled back in so finally he lets go of the metal pipe and we see that the metal pipe is being dragged deeper and deeper into this large sewer pipe by slugs. 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 Slugs can grip this man's arm with such a force that he, can, that, that he can't pull it out of a pipe. We're talking about slugs here. Slugs can grab this metal pipe that he was holding and pull it into a sewer pipe. That's what kind of slugs we've got in this movie. So these are not ordinary slugs. And right off the hop with the movie, and this always, even, this is the title card for the movie. So even the title card of the movie has me chuckling. The movie's not even started yet, and I'm already chuckling. They have to specify very clearly on the title card of this movie that this is Slugs, the movie. Not to get it confused with like a National Geographic documentary, because that would just, you know, that would create complete chaos if people thought that this was something that was really happening um, and that, you know, the, <laughs> the plague of slugs was going to spread across the country. It would just create absolute turmoil and chaos. So they, they, they very, you know, they, they were very clear at the beginning of this film that this is Slugs the movie. It's only a movie. It's just a movie. It's, it feels so out of place. Everything in this movie just is very, very awkward. Very, very awkward. Very, very hilariously awkward. Starting with the music in the film. The dramatic music in the film sounds like it's from like the 9 o'clock news lead-in to like the top story, you know what I mean? Doesn't seem to fit in this kind of movie. The dialogue is ridiculous. Um, half the movie was shot, well, I'm not sure how much, but some of the movie was shot in America with American actors. Some of the movie was shot in Spain with Spanish actors. We've got ridiculous dialogue everywhere. But the scenes that are dubbed, and everybody knows, when you dub ridiculous dialogue, you make it infinitely more <laughs> ridiculous. So you've got ridiculous dialogue, uh, and some of it that's dubbed, that is just super ridiculous. Um, the You can tell an American sequence versus 
a, a sequence saw, shot in Spain. There's just a total, I don't know if it's different cameras or uh, film stock. I don't know if they use different uh, cinematographer, but it just sticks right. So, so even if you, even if the dubbing wasn't enough to let you know, okay, we've shifted here. Uh, just the way the movie looks kind of changes as well. Um, and speaking of the dialogue, there's a lot of dialogue in this movie that just absolutely goes nowhere, that has no point in the movie, that's poorly acted, that's poorly delivered, and I don't know if they're trying to build character or just pad out the, the runtime. I have no idea. Even the lead actor in the film, who plays the uh, health department guy, he flubs a lot of lines in this movie. Uh, just sort of, you know... <laughs> Like he bites his own tongue and he'll flub a lot. There's one sequence where he's talking about the killer slugs and he like, you know, stumbles over his own lines and even kind of looks at the camera like, are you going to cut? Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine the director behind the camera just going, just go with it, just go, just go, just go. Um, you know, I, I don't know if they were adding some realism because I mean, you know, when people talk, you know, sometimes they stutter and stammer and they, you know, I mean, mispronounce words, etc. cetera. Um, I don't think they were going for that kind of realism in this film. I think they were just like, it's, fine just, just keep going just keep going um oh goodness um <laughs> the um <laughs> there's a sequence at the toward the beginning of the film that just has me in stitches um they they're at the very first uh crime scene where this guy's been eaten alive by slugs and the the, the sheriff is there his deputies and the health department guy and a deputy runs out of the guy's house, out of the crime scene, and he's like, Sheriff, coroner says uh, all the guy's internal organs are gone. As if the coroner had performed the full autopsy on the guy right there at the crime scene. Why not? Why not? We proceed from that sequence to a sequence with the sheriff and the health department guy in the car. And it's like one of those Looney Tunes kind of Roadrunner sequences where they, they're, they're driving for this extended period of time, but it's almost like they're going around in a circle because you see like the same houses and the same backgrounds <laughs> over and over again. And the sheriff, oh my God, the guy who plays the sheriff, his performance, he's trying to play this, you know, old school, tough as nails, hard nosed, ball busting sheriff. To the point where, you know, if you're two minutes late for hit for a meeting with him, he's busting your balls over it. He gives this, it's very over the top, but it's over the top in this robotic, uh, really stiff kind of way. It's such an odd, odd performance. I don't know what the guy was shooting for. If he thought he was being cool or, you know, if he was, you know, if he thought he was being like HUD or something. <laughs> Um, but he, it just does not come off. Um, there's a great dialogue exchange between the cop, the sheriff and the health department guy in the car. And the sheriff goes, what do you think could have done this? Wild dogs, raccoons, raccoons, raccoons ate a guy alive, including all of his internal organs, raccoons. I, I don't, maybe they were setting up the next movie. So they're they're jumping from killer slugs to killer man eating raccoons. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they were maybe they were setting that up. Maybe they were thinking ahead. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, the acting in the movie all around is just silly and over the top. And you know, I don't know if the, maybe the actors were in on the joke. Maybe they realized that they were making a movie about killer slugs, and they were just like, <laughs> let's just ham it up. I mean, I don't know. Um, the acting is crazy. Like I said, the, the lead actor, the health department guy, he flubs so many lines in this movie and they just kind of let him run with it. Um, there's a character who is like a scientist and the health department guy takes him a jar with a slug in it. And we've, we've gone the, at this point in the movie, the slugs have killed God knows how many people. We know that this is a killer slug movie. We're into like the third act of the movie and the scientist finally surmises, he goes, these slugs, they're, they're carnivorous. Yeah. <laughs> we knew that an hour ago. <laughs> but the scientist, you know, the Einstein, these slugs, they're carnivorous. Um, but really, why you're watching slugs is to watch the slugs eat people. And I have to say, 
this the effects in the movie, the practical effects in the movie, are pretty good. We've got some really good sequences in this film. There is the salad slug sequence, as I call it, where a woman is, is chopping up a head of lettuce for a salad for her and her husband. Unbeknownst to her, there's a slug in it. Uh, the dude eats it. The next day, he goes to a meeting at an Italian restaurant, and it doesn't end well for him uh, at all. Uh, there's a sequence between two lovers on a bed, and, and they're, they're, so, they're making such passionate love. They're so uh, enthralled in this lovemaking that they've, they're, they're totally oblivious to the fact that the entire bedroom, all around the bed, has turned into this carpet of slugs. So the young lady gets up. She tries to run through the slugs. She slides down, begins to wallow in the slugs. There's blood. There's slime. Uh, she's naked. So blood, slime, nudity. You've got it all right there in that scene. There's, there's some nice special effects in that scene as well. Her boyfriend's on the bed yelling, No! 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 While she's screaming for him and being eaten alive by slugs. Uh, there's a sequence where a guy falls into like a, down in the, the sewer, like into a, a, a pool of slugs, which doesn't turn out well for him at all. Um, <laughs> all, the, all, the, all the graphic, gory scenes in the film, unfortunately, they feel very trimmed. Very edited. I'm sure the MPAA had a field day with this movie. I would love to see an uncut, unedited version of Slugs uh, with those scenes intact. Because, like I said, you know, not a great <laughs> movie, but they 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 didn't. Uh, you know, they knew making this movie. We we need good kills, good special effects, lots of blood, lots of gore, and for the most part, we have that. Unfortunately, it does feel a little trimmed. However. All the other sequences in the film, like I said, the acting, the dialogue, the music, uh, the, the, the dubbing, um, the character development that goes nowhere. Uh, there's one sequence where the health department guy, his wife calls him and she's hysterical and she's screaming, come home, come home, oh my God. He goes home and there's slugs coming out of the faucet. And he's like, oh my God, and he kills the slugs. And then he's like, honey, I've got to go. I've got to run off. So he leaves his hysterical wife, who he loves, in a home where there's slugs coming through the faucet. Um, there's like some Jaws-ish sequences in the film as well where he's trying to convince the mayor and, you know, the sheriff and like the, the town sanitation director, uh, you know, that these slugs are here and they're eating people and killing people and they're just like... Slugs, you're crazy. Slugs, you're... you're. Um, it's a hoot. This movie is an absolute hoot. I love it. I saw it many, many years ago. I owned it on VHS for a long time, and I finally picked this DVD up. This DVD is like six bucks. I'll put a link in the description uh, for you to go pick it up, because I definitely think this is a movie that you need to own. Um, it's absolutely... Uh, it's absolutely one of a kind. I highly recommend it. If you love so bad, it's good movies. This is going to be right up your alley. Uh, definitely, if you've seen Slugs, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Go buy it, watch it, come back. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. And I promise that Pieces review <laughs> uh, is is forthcoming. You'll you'll have the Pieces File 13 review soon. I'm looking forward to watching it again for the review because it is. It's an even bigger hoot than Slugs. That's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. Too bad the director's passed away. I think he passed away in 2011. I definitely need to look into some more of his films because, I mean, so far, Slugs and Pieces, I mean, he's directed two classics. Two classics. So, yeah. My thoughts on Slugs, an awesome, so bad it's good movie. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.